I am, we're back for part two of unwarranted effects. Um, we're going to move on to the next one. The phenomenon in which a change in one component of a multiple schedule that increases or decreases the rate of responding on the component in an accompanied by a change in the response rate in the opposite direction on the other unaltered component of the schedule. Behavior contrast. Behavior contrast. Behavior contrast. Yes. Where is behavior? Oh, there it is. All right, next one. The discontinuing of a reinforcement of previously reinforced behavior. Extension. You guys are on it. Thank you. I took, I took this straight from the Cooper glossary. So, so I wanted to make it difficult, but I can't. You guys are awesome. All right, the relative frequency with which operant behavior is emitted during extinction. Resistance, Resistance to extinction. Mm -hmm. And then, when a stimulus change immediately follows a response and increases the future frequency of that type of behavior in similar conditions. Reinforcement. 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 Awesome. All right, now we have some AKAs. These are fun, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Punishment is type two type is type two is a type one type one punishment no type Again. one is positive punishment what do you say Mark? one is positive type, I said type, is negative. type one is positive punishment okay so punishment on its own is Punishment-based SD. Correct. Punishment-based SD. All right. Reinforcement is? Type 1. Type 1 what? Reinforcement. Good. Thank you. All right. Negative reinforcement extinction. I mean, I'm sorry. Positive punishment. I skipped one. Type 1 punishment. Type 1 punishment. Type one punishment. Very good. All right, negative reinforcement extinction. Negative escape extinction. Escape extinction. Is that Ashley? Yep. You're doing great. Thanks. All right, negative reinforcement. Type, Type two, two punishment. punishment. Wait, wouldn't it be no, that's two? No. Uh, it's the reinforcement. Two. Yeah, negative reinforcement. No, nope, let's take that off. What is it, guys? Type two reinforcement. It's green, yes. Oh, that's reinforcement. I thought it was one. All right, negative punishment. What is it? Type two, two punishment. punishment. Type two punishment. And then the last one, extinction. Offering Escape extinction. extinction. Operant extinction. Operant extinction. Very good. Awesome. All right. So before you guys cheat, <laughs> give you guys the answer. We could okay. never do that. We're no, not at all. Training. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So now I'm going on this screen so you guys won't see what it says. Okay. All right. You guys see everything? Yep. Yes. All right. Take it easy. I'm a student still. So, okay. I tried. What should a responsible behavior analyst always do first when planning for any unwanted effect? A, begin the intervention immediately. B, inform stakeholders. C, train staff. Or D, ensure alternate behavior is chosen. What should they do? B. 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 B like boy. B. Did I lose my screen? Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. Oh, man. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> really? That looks like my brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me try again. I'm sorry about that, guys.
All right, you guys see it? Yeah. All right, so you guys said what? B. Um, B. I would say D. D. Someone, two Ds and one B? Someone said C. All right, read the, I'm going to read the question again, okay? I'm going to emphasize on the main word here. What should the responsible behavior analyst always do first? Inform the stakeholder, get consent. Inform the stakeholder, B. Very good. B. Why should we, like we said before, why should we inform the stakeholders first? Because you have to get consent. Well, you have to get consent to, to move on. You have to get consent, and we also talked about why are we going to train staff, why are we going to begin the intervention, why are we going to ensure alternate behaviors if they don't agree with it. So, good job, guys. Right. All right, number two. Ah, why did I do that? You didn't see that. What, what always needs to be used together with extinction? A, negative reinforcement, B, automatic reinforcement, C, positive reinforcement, or D, reinforcement? D. Positive reinforcement? Yeah. I, any kind of reinforcement. No, you use they could be asking for a break from something, like say you're not, um, say you're putting, you know, aggression to get out of a task on extinction, you're still going to reinforce if they appropriately ask for a break, which would be negative reinforcement. So it would be any type of reinforcement. reinforcement. I said D as in David. Yes. Okay, so, okay, so does everybody agree with D? Yes. Because yes. if you look at the question, it says always. So in, in any situation. Okay. Reinforcement. All right, so the answer is D. Good job. Good job, guys. Okay. Now look at the keywords when you're reading the questions. Very good. Thank you. That's great. All right. Number three, which of the following is an unwanted effect of reinforcement? A, emotional responses. B, extinction burst. C, limited responses to treatment. Or D, behavior contrast. I want to say C. C, limited responses. So C, I have one C. I think C. Two. Two Cs. C. Any, C, good. C, good job, guys. Got this. All right, next question. All right, let me mute this because mute. All right, can a person become desensitized to punishment? A, yes, with habilitation. Hold on, background noise. Guys, can everybody please mute their mics because I have a lot of background noise. Okay. All right, number four. Can a person become desensitized to punishment? A, yes, with habilitation. B, no, punishment can never become desensitized. C, yes, with habituation. Or D, no, you can only use desensitization for self-management. A. C. C. Okay, so I have three for C and two for A. I'm, I'm happy you guys both agree with yes, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> so we got, now we got to figure out what, who can explain what's the difference between habilitation and habituation? Um, I'm saying it's because it's a habit. That's the only one that pops out to me. Yeah, you're on the right track. Is habituation when you do it the same, like, punishment so often? That it, I mean, it would be no longer effective. You yeah. get used to it, like like you said, like a habit, like the other person said. Yeah. Does anybody want to say anything else? 
Okay. Is habilitation so it is, a thing in ABA or is that just something you... No, habilitation about? is, it is a thing in ABA. Okay. Let me talk about Look it up in the glossary of Cooper. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is, um, and a lot of people do get confused with habilitation and habituation. That is why I put it on there, to confuse you guys. So, it's the yes with habituation. So, I have a little screen here so I can explain what habituation is. Habituation is when you become desensitized to something and it does not have an effect on your behavior. So, like I said before, putting a child in timeout consistently and after many times the child sits and says, I don't care. Okay. Are right, you guys ready to move on to the next question? All right, cool. All right, number five, extinction is when the behavior does not receive punishment. A, false, it is when the behavior receives punishment. B, false, it is when the behavior does not receive punishment. C, true, it is when the behavior does not receive punishment. Or D, false, it is when the behavior receives reinforcement. C. Oh my goodness. C. B. Okay, I have three C's and one B. 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 B for boy. Yeah. A. Okay. Okay, so most of you say B, some say C, right? Okay, the answer is B. Why is it B? Who wants to explain why it's B? Behavior on extinction, it's a behavior that has previously received reinforcement on extinction, no longer contacts reinforcement. Right, correct. So if I would have put reinforcement here instead of pus punishment, it would have been, this would have been true. But because I put punishment, it's false. Good job. All right, number six. <clears throat> Can everybody please mute their mics? I have a lot of background noise. I don't know. Mute. Okay, thank you. All right, number six, Robert started on a soccer team on the first day. The coach tells him, let's go. You're making us lose. Robert did not return. This is an example of what? A, unwanted effects of extinction. B, unwanted effects of reinforcement. C, unwanted effects of punishment. Or D, unwanted effects of both reinforcement and extinction. Oh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to say C because it was actually a punishment procedure like a positive punishment procedure the the statement the statement okay that it caused the behavior to decrease um uh, but yeah so he was giving a reprimand let's you know let's go you're making us lose and it then caused robert to not return at all and right robert chose to escape or avoid the situation going back to the situation mm -hmm. so you agree with c we have two yeah. c's i agree c all right we got it c wow man you guys are getting everything right Good job. Is someone vacuuming i don't know i'm not i'm trying to mute here okay there we go all right number seven an extinction burst is when there is an increase in the rate, magnitude, amplitude, or intensity of what? A, the behavior caused by emotional responses. B, the behavior put on extinction. C, the behavior in resurgence. Or D, the behavior going through a spontaneous recovery. B. 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 I heard a few Bs. Did I hear a D also? A D as in dog? B as a boy. Oh, okay. All right, does everybody agree with B? Okay, I think it's B, let's see. Good job. 
Oh, two more questions and that's it. We've got it. Well, my questions were pretty good. <laughs> All right. Yes, they were. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was um, a while questioning and asking people to help me and read it and make and so I, I think it was all well worth it. All right, number eight. Johnny asks his dad if he can play with him. Every time the dad responds, I can't right now. Don't you see I'm busy? After several attempts, Johnny never asked his dad for anything else. This is what kind of unwanted effect of punishment? A, avoiding the punishing agent. B, emotional responses. C, resurgence. Or D, behavioral contrast. A. 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 But it's a Walker. really good example of a positive punishment, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's not on there. Yeah, <laughs> but exactly. if it said punishment, if it said pun positive punishment, if it was leaning towards that, then yes. I mean, it's a sad example of it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It happens a lot. Those are things you, you have to deal with. and and you are gonna see in the field, so. Okay, let's move on, last one. All right, is it an ethical violation to use extinction when not part of a treatment package? A, no, it is not an ethical violation. B, yes, it is an ethical violation. C, no, extinction can be used only as long as there is a proper training and supervision. Or D, yes, it is only an ethical violation if extinction and punishment are used in the same treatment package. B. B. B is in boy. B. Awesome, awesome. You guys got all the questions right. 100%, you guys are gonna pass, for sure. All right, so it's the end. Um, our next meeting is this Friday uh, with Jacqueline at 9 p.m. Eastern. Next week, we'll be co covering Section B, Experimental Design. And then remember to follow us on uh, all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever it is you have. And um, now I have all the links for and the schedule on the website, just to make it easier. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but um, I have everything on there, very organized. Um, and then if you guys have any questions or any concerns, you can email me or any of the leaders at leaders at ababaexamacademy.com. Thank you so much for joining me. This was awesome. Uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so good much. Good night. You're good night. welcome, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Thanks, Amy. You're welcome, anytime.